Ishidaurius first Hilech Bogun is the Kojaku. Its size is dependent on the amount of energy flowing through it. In preparation for his travel to Soul Society, Uryu masters the Sanrei Glove, greatly increasing his abilities. Now, the Kujaku is solid and covered in an intricate pattern. This version of Kujaku allows Uryu to fire several shots simultaneously. Ranso Tengai is a high-level Quinshi technique which allows the user to control their body parts using strings of Reiryoku, controlled by their brain forming lines of strings made of Reishi. Using this technique, a Quinshi can control their body like a marionette, allowing them to move freely despite paralysis, broken limbs, or any other force which would impede normal movement. Quinshi let steal, as a result of taking off the Sanrei glove, giving a Quinshi the ability to collect Reishi beyond their limit. Though it grants immense power, for a short period of time, the user will have their Quinshi power sealed after the surge. Uryu gains a more battle-ready form of the standard Quinshi attire, with the Sanrei glove's bow separating from itself and remaining in his hand as armor covers his left side and arm. The shoulder armor is a silver color bearing the blue Quinshi cross, while the white floating area of the outfit contains rows of parallel blue vertical lines. A blue, flame-like object resembling a quiver of pure Rei Ryoku forms on Uryu's right shoulder. It collects large amounts of Reishi from its surroundings and stores the energy for him. The power of Uryu's arrows is increased drastically. A charged arrow cut through Mayuri's Bankai, Konjigi Ashizogi Jizo, completely in half and continued traveling until it blew a huge hole through his chest. Ginto are small containers which Quinshi used to store their Reiryoku. They are utilized as components in Quinshi's spellcasting. Heisen instantly gouges and purges whatever is enclosed in the space within the four tasked Ginto. Volke cautions the impact of a fall with Reiryoku contained inside the Ginto. Grits, Reishi emitted from a throne Ginto, surrounds the enemy. After regaining his Quinshi powers, Uryu wields an upgraded version of his Kojaku bow, called the Ginrei Kojaku, which is shaped like a spider's web. With Ginrei Kojaku, Uryu can fire up to 1200 shots consecutively. He can also bounce back individual shots off of walls to shoot around corners, making the direction of his attacks unpredictable. Lichtregen a large amount of Reiryoku is gathered at Uryu's left shoulder. He then fires a fuck ton of arrows at a single target. The Sele Schneider is a weapon much like a chainsaw with Reishi making 3 million round trips per second around the edge of the blade. The vibrations, however, are not just for cutting. Through them, the Sele Schneider loosens the bonds between the Reishi of whatever it cuts in order to make them easier to capture. The Sele Schneider is not a sword, but an arrow. Gerd Sprenger Uryu fires a single Sele Schneider at the intended target, which then stops in mid-air, surrounding the opponent with a high-density barrier of Reishi. Minuscule cuts created by Sele Schneider cause Reishi to flow out of the target's body. Uryu throws a Ginto at the Sele Schneider, causing the barrier to implode, culminating and an enormous explosion. Sprenger. This technique uses five Sele Schneiders to create a pentagon shaped seal which, when activated, causes a massive explosion within its borders. 17 months after the defeat of Sosuke Aizen, Uryu wields a new bow. An arrow falls down the middle of each side of the bow with a line that crosses it near the center. After joining the Vandenreich, Uryu wields a light-colored bow. It's roughly as tall as he is, and has semi-straight arms tapering off into points, with the handle being significantly thinner than the rest of the bow. While facing Hashwalt, Uryu uses a bow with four long prongs and two spikes extending from the center. His Helic Fire are significantly different, 
having noticeable arrowheads and their ends are shaped like a Quinshi Zaishin with the arms bent back. Urius Shrift is a the antithesis. He can designate any two targets and completely reverse anything that has already occurred between the two of them. For example, if Uryu were to be greatly injured while fighting an opponent, he could reverse what occurred between himself and his enemy, simultaneously healing himself and wounding his opponent. Needless to say, this ability is overpowered as fuck. And so this will conclude this video, and if you have not already then please do leave a like, share this video, drop a comment, and subscribe, and if you want to see more videos, click on the annotations on screen, check out the cards or the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching, ciao, have a great day, and bye. The fuck bye.